Uh, hello, in this small tutorial I want to cover the question I found today in the Touch Designer help group, uh, which is about how to control the ramp values programmatically using hue saturation value model. Uh, so unfortunately if we create a ramp top we can find that uh, that table provided only has uh, position uh, and RGBA values. So if we want to use uh, hue saturation value like here, unfortunately we cannot make it directly using that RAM table. So, but that is quite easy. So let's first scroll to the uh, UI widgets and in basic widgets we can find the slider hue saturation value alpha and um, I will not cover right now the user interface question so it's like very very briefly covering the main important questions how to generate a trump case table using HSV model so uh, if we dive inside of this widget we can find that we have that uh, background color controlled by hue saturation value. If we check how it's done, we can find the script generating that value and it using the color sys model, uh, which is included in standard Python library. So let's check that model. It's color system conversion between color systems and it has all possible uh, functions what we can need to convert one model to another so it has anyway HSV to RGB so using that model we can create a custom script which can generate a table so let's make it so I will uh, this time only create three uh, positions so I will output values using the null and then I want to generate uh, the table converting this chop value to that so now I just going to copy and paste these three uh, free tables and I will also create uh, another table with exact dimension four rows one column and right here uh, sorry one row four columns and right here the names H S V and A for alpha then using a merge I can merge all these three guys together and create a nice table including all values then uh, simplest way to generate a final ramp table is using the script dot and let's write the code so first we need to import that color sys model which we can do in front of all functions import color sys then let's define a variable which will include the uh, uh, the reference to the input dot containing all hsv values so I will call that variable hsv dot and it will be script operator dot input square parenthesis zero. Then let's make that script dynamic that it can uh, procedurally react to the input size in uh, the uh, size of input table. So size is equal hsv dot 
dot num rows and depending on amount of rows and input that we can generate the corresponding table for the output and we need to add a first row including all uh, column names that we can do using script p dot append row and then we should provide the array of string values which will be pause comma r g b and a cool so next what we need to do we need to calculate the position step so we're going to start with position 0 and we should finish with position 1 for that we should divide 1 by the size of the table minus 2 because we're starting so we, uh, we, we don't want to react to the first row containing names and then we should divide it by the two steps so if we have three rows we should have two steps 0 0 0.5 and 1 so let's make it step is equal 1 dot for float value divided by size minus 2 okay after that we can make a, a cycle a loop which will loop through all input columns uh, input rows and calculate uh, rgb values from hsv values and write down the final uh, data to the column uh, to the corresponding rows from the output table so we can use a for i in range syntaxis starting from the first row until the size colon then we are inside of the loop and here we can ask for corresponding uh, cells h is uh, float representation of data included in hsv dot and row number is i and column name is h that way we can repeat for all other colors s for s and v for v and a for alpha then we should convert hsv values to rgb values let's make a new variable called rgb and then we can use the color sys model and it's dot hsv underscore to rgb function then we provide hsv values h comma s comma v uh, okay let's check what is produced by that function for that we can use debug rgb and let's take a look to the text port amazing it's producing array of values so we can access that values by the square parenthesis and number of uh, records and that way we can construct the final line but first we also need to calculate the position so position will be the i which is current iteration number minus one because we want to start from zero 
multiply it by step. And let's write all that information to the table script op dot append row and let's make now the array and write first position then r rgb square parenthesis zero comma rgb square parenthesis one two and alpha as last now we have nice and clean table containing all that values we need and we can drop the table to the ramp uh, to the dot parameter of ramp and we can play with the interface all that sliders to see how it works so amazing that's our uh, our task is solved and thank you for your attention uh, also i want to shortly introduce that currently we are starting the new flow of how to touch online course which is a academic 10 months long course where we cover the Goudini and Touch Designer uh, integration. So it's a course containing three modules, three levels, where we're going quite deep into user interface, content management, geometry concept, procedural modeling, dynamic simulations and practical cases of usage of touch designer and Goudini in audiovisual and interactive production. Thank you and uh, follow us on YouTube and visit howtotouch.com. My name is Stanislav Glazov and I always happy to bring you some new ideas and uh, tutorials.